What's going on everybody? My name is Ryan, I'm a CPA, and it's good to be back on the YouTube channel. It's been a while, right? A couple months, I think. Hope you all had a good holiday, a good new year. And now here we are in 2024. Today we're gonna to be talking about the BOI, the Beneficial Ownership Information Report, that is now required to be filed by most businesses. And we're, we're gonna talk about why this is, what, what it is, who's required to file, and a bunch of kind of high level stuff. I'm not gonna get into too much detail here. All right, so what is, what is this report? It's, you know, this report has been mandated starting this year from the Corporate Transparency Act. And the purpose of this is to, you know, file for your business so that the government knows who the owners of the businesses are. And the reason for this is, you know, they think they, they wanna try to prevent fraud, you know, money laundering, uh, tax evasion, from people using companies as just like shell companies and hiding behind those corporate entities. So who needs a file? Really any or most business, most businesses that have formed their entity by filing a Secretary of State document will likely need to file. Now there are some exceptions here, but you know, most businesses that are for profit would need to file. This includes corporations, partnerships, LLCs, even sole proprietors, but only sole proprietors if you filed a document with the Secretary of State to form your sole proprietor entity. There are some industries that are exempt. I'm gonna link a link in the description below so you can take a look there. Don't just look at the industry for the exemption and assume that you're exempt. Really, there's a lot of nuances within those each of those lists that you have to make sure you look at to make sure you're fully exempt. Like for example, it lists accounting firms as exempt from filing, but uh, my firm, the accounting firm here, is actually not exempt due to certain factors. So really just take a look at that and make sure you look at everything in that list. Also, nonprofits and uh, charitable organizations are exempt as well. All right, so when do you have to file this by? Uh, well, this reporting started January 1st of 2024. You have a year to file this to be compliant, and that's January 1st, 2025. And this is only if your business existed before the start of this year. Okay, so if you're already in business before January 1st of 24, you have a year to file this. If your business started after January 1st, 2024, then you have 90 days to file after you started your business. Now this is a one-time filing, okay? You don't have to do it every year, but if your ownership structure changes, then you do have to update the report once that happens. What are the consequences and how are, how is the Department of Treasury gonna you know, enforce the filings of these? Well, I'm not sure how they're, going to for, how they're going to know or enforce it, but really the consequences are pretty steep. So if you're in violation, you may be penalized up to $500 per day, which is like a shit ton of money, right? So violation means you fail to file on time. So basically up to $500 per day that you're late. Um, if you, and that's just a civil penalty, right? It's not a criminal penalty. If you uh, willingly file false information or willingly uh, didn't file anything, then you might face criminal penalties, and that includes jail time and a large fine, up to $10,000. All right, so how do you file this thing? You, you just go on to the, the FinCEN's website. I'll link it in the description below. There's ways you can file electronically, which is the easiest. Uh, you can print out the document and fill it out by hand and mail it in, or you can print out like a PDF and submit the PDF electronically. But really, the easiest way is just to file it through the online e-filing system. Uh, you can hire, if, if, if this kind of makes you nervous, you can hire attorneys, lawyers, uh, accountants, somebody who's a professional in, in this realm that can help you file it. But it is, just remember, it's your responsibility to make sure you give them the correct information to file it because that's your responsibility. If you give them incorrect information, you may be in violation of the reporting. So with this new re requirement, a lot of people think it's an overreach by the government. So I'm just curious and interested to know what you think. So let me know in the comments below if you think this is a government overreach or you think this might be a good thing. Um, anyways, that's all I got for today. It's, uh, it's good to be back. I appreciate y'all. Uh, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And to those who are already subscribed, thank you. Have a good week. Guess I gotta hit him with an update. Okay. I've been getting to it when I'm up late. Hit it when you want the front gate. Damn. Back like that. Damn, no. Hold up. Guess I gotta hit him with the update. Really with it, I ain't got a pump fade. Kill a flow and hit him with the one take. Back like that.
guess I gotta hit him with the update. Okay. I've been getting to it when I'm up.